Hello, Jazzcat here. Welcome to an overview of furniture skeletons for IMVU Studio. Before we start, although Blender is used for illustrative purposes, the materials shown and topics covered apply to 3D Studio Max as well as other content authoring tools. Some basic knowledge using 3D and 2D software will also be needed. With that out of the way, let's dive in. Everything in IMVU has an underlying skeleton atop which meshes, the bits visible to the user, sit. Depending on what the item is, the skeleton performs a different function. For furniture, the skeletons essentially act like magnets to attach to room furniture nodes placed just for that purpose, decorating a scene with furniture. At their most basic, a furniture skeleton is a node called root, essentially a single non-mesh object that acts as a reference point for the item so IMVU knows where it is when dropped into a room. Because of this, root needs to be positioned at grid center and pointing in a direction determined by the z-axis or z-axis that corresponds to the type of item represented floor, wall or ceiling, and where it will generally mount, again floor, wall or ceiling. For more complex interactive furniture, nodes, parented to root, can be added to accommodate poses and or animation. For poses, four are used, each performing specific functions. A seat node that defines the avatar's location, a handle, the user interface element clicked on in-game, and catcher and picture nodes to establish where avatars stand when interacting with each other. Taking a closer look, as a set, the nodes represent either a sitting or standing pose by default, or with slight modification, a custom pose. This is determined by an append case sensitive dot sitting dot standing or a custom label the handle node generally sits above the seat node but can be repositioned for ease of access useful in instances where too many seats are in close proximity to each other the catcher and pitcher similarly can be repositioned but should remain the same distance apart to ensure cooperative avatar animations properly sync avatar's hands touching during a handshake, for example. It's important to note that pose spots don't have a say in how an avatar might pose or animate. They only highlight where the avatar appears and can be interacted with. For animation, additional nodes can be included depending on what and how the item is being animated. A single node, parented to root for example, can be used to rotate or move something. More nodes used to create more complex multi-part animations that can include custom poses so long as the hierarchy between the nodes is set up to accommodate this. Finally, aside from their relationships and how that determines the skeletal hierarchy of the furniture item, all nodes have their respective labelling that can be iterative, so IMVU knows how many there are. In this furniture item context, this convention is normally applicable to pose spots and uses a numerical identifier that sits between the node type label and the node's function. For example, a node label seat01.standing, seat identifies the node type, 01 is the numerical identifier and dot standing is the action or function typically triggered. And there we have it. As we can see, the combinations of these simple sub-elements means we can build quite complex furniture, the only limitation being the imagination. <laughs> 